everybody, I want to weed some here at 2.30 in the morning. I am dead tired, but this is pretty exciting stuff. Thumpin' Wumpa Island Adventure Pack gameplay is coming your way. If you're not already a member of the Skylander Club Forum, I encourage you to check it out. Sign up if you like it. I'd love to have you join us. Skylanderclub.com. You can also find us on Twitter. That's it. What we're going to do here is a little bit different. Crash Bandicoot. I do not know a slogan for this guy, nor Dr. Cortex. Uh, he is, of course, a life element brawler. We've kind of covered that in the past, but it, it fit in with what I'm doing here. Uh, I also noticed I rewatched my original video on Crash, and this and the next image were both glitched like this. They do not look like this, but for some reason in my rendering, they come out this way. Uh, but cool, I, the life element base looks great with him, but that picture there, it does not look like that in the... Uh, either the E3 nor here uh, with Gamescom press material it does not have these like motion streaks and I don't know what's going on but hey I guess it's a one of wisdom exclusive so uh, this again we've if you want more on this I'll go ahead and I'll uh, have the little card in the top right hand corner to link you back to my first uh, video on crash what I'm gonna do here a little different than most people I'm keeping the B-roll as is. You'll basically see Crash and Cortex go through the same portions of the level uh, for the most part, but you know, you can then appreciate their different styles of play and attacks. And of course with Cortex, it's our first look at him. But uh, that right there pretty much sums up Crash. Uh, I have, again, I've never played this uh, Crash Bandicoot ever. I think at the time I probably had a Sega and was big time into Sonic and sport games could be wrong and of course playing outside probably baseball uh dr neo cortex again this is the big news he is tech element if you were curious and he has a sorcerer of course some people are like he should be a quick shot right sorcerer probably fit better and again they would kind of already tied things up so you could manipulate things either way but the figure should be pretty cool and i have some viewers uh Omenex in particular and uh, Ethan, uh, they're both very, very excited about this. I know some others of you uh, probably grew up playing the game as well. Uh, I was, I was possibly playing like Vector Man, Earthworm Jim, and, or maybe Crash was later. I don't really know. But uh, anyway, it didn't tie in with my progression. Uh, had a PS2, never an original PlayStation, never one since. But so. Uh, it looks like Cortex, based on the gameplay, is going to be pretty fun, so I'm uh, pretty stoked about that. I'm going to make sure I'm actually recording here. Yes, brilliant. Okay. So, uh, that's a hilarious picture. Again, not knowing anything of this guy or Crash, really, they seem like likable characters, if you will. So, um, are they as big as Donkey Kong and Bowser? To me personally, no, but they look like they're going to be amazing Skylanders. Also, I want you to watch the original Crash video, uh, especially if you have not. They've tweaked the story now. A wormhole has opened in Skylands and the great Aku Aku appears. He comes to announce the once in two decades synchronization celebration. It is the time when all the worlds align perfectly and they're having a huge party in the Wumpa Islands and want to invite the Skylanders. Now, that's not really changed, and that ties in perfectly with the 20th anniversary of Crash and his appearance here in Skylanders, yada yada. But if you go back and read what I wrote originally, which was straight from the PR team, it's been tweaked now. But Dr. Neo Cortex, that was not mentioned last time, has created a sinister machine to harness its incredible energy for his own evil purposes, only to watch it go completely haywire. Now Dr. Neo Cortex Cortex, that must be an error in the uh, stuff I copied, must partner with Crash Bandicoot to stop the machine before the Wumpa Islands are completely shaken apart. So, uh, continuing on here, I think this is the last part. Uh, no, 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 this is standalone. An all-new Crash Bandicoot-inspired level, Thumpin' Wumpa Islands, is steeped in nostalgic Crash gameplay. Thumpin' Wumpa Islands is packed with TNT boxes, crabs, hazards, temple ruins, Wumpa fruit, exploding crates, and more. Also includes special Crash zones that bring back the classic boulder chases. The Thumpin' Wumpa Island level will be available to players who purchase the PS3, PS4 starter packs, at launch. The level will then become available to all platforms via purchase of the Skylanders Imaginators Thumpin' Wumpa Islands Adventure Pack this holiday, probably around Black Friday. So uh, you miss out on like, what, five, six weeks? Um, 
It will include, it's $29.99, it will include Neocortex and Crash. No clue if there's an, a, like an, a location piece or a magic item like we're accustomed to. But somehow, if there's not, one of the two characters or each of them would unlock the level. So, that said, here we go. And right now, you can't really tell aside from like the Wumpa fruit. But this gets better and better, uh, and it's got me, again, someone that's never played, extremely excited to play this level. Uh, of course, I'll have to wait Xbox One and you see this guy here. Uh, PC as well, but i uh, <laughs> later. Pay attention to, of course, Crash's attacks. We've kind of seen this, uh, and we're going to cycle through. This stuff here is, again, going to be... But a lot of you thought that there was an audio issue there, right? I went quiet because I wanted you to hear that. You'll see it again when Crash goes through. But again, I'm just keeping this as cast and just letting you again. I like to take a good look at this stuff, rewatch it multiple times, pick up, you know, like there's a little totem tiki guy spitting music notes out. I'm finding like hidden paths they don't take. I'm actually proud of whoever went through here because they did take one hidden path one time and I was pretty excited about that. Usually they don't. But uh, there was one issue. There's an area similar to right here. See that like XP orb giver of greatness? Uh, when Cortex goes through the same area, we don't see that. That said, check out his hoverboard. That is amazing. It's kind of like a jet rocket type of thing. Not jet rocket. Uh, God, why can't I think of the guy's name? You know who I'm thinking of. Boom Jet, right? Yeah, Brett Favre man that I was always going to rethink. But uh, I'm loving the island vibe. You know me, old school Skylander guy. You know what I want to do here? I want to play Double Trouble in this level, and I'm going to do it. Uh, rest assured, when I play this level, it'll be really hard to pull Cortex or Crash. Uh, we might have to play it again, but I am going to, by gosh, play Double Trouble in here. Uh, the hieroglyphic thing here, very reminiscent to like a link from the past or something, very cool play style. Uh, the crates, I guess that's like, you know, standard stuff there in Crash Land. You got the Wumpa Fruit. Uh, then the TNT, I've, I've learned a lot about I feel trash from this. Now check this out, they actually go up here and get the uh, chest for us, so I thought that was a nice touch. Uh, again, a lot of times in the demos you can kind of be like, oh hey, couldn't you go up there? And then they don't. So there's several times here they actually do it. But uh, we've also learned, or at least I have learned a lot about this stuff. I don't watch uh, like the... Uh, <clears throat> People that like go to the events and stuff, the gameplay ever, I feel like that's too much of a spoiler. Cortex's mines here, I'm very excited about. In a minute, he'll get on his little jet board and detonate them. I think it's this clip, it could be another one, but I'm pretty sure it's this one. Also, check out the like, it's, I've tried to figure it out. I don't know if it's swim trunks or like a Hawaiian shirt or a team trunk or that. I thought that was a nice touch. Uh, and also note the pizza there, so it's not exclusively Wumpa fruit. Again, these are the things. You see that chest back there? I do. Oh, he's gonna get it. You will get that Cortex. Alright, so anyway, uh, again, he will be a sorcerer. We haven't really seen much of, like, sorcerer add-ons, but I assume it'll be, like, staffs and wands type of a thing. I just want you to listen to this. Very cool, right? Again, you saw Cortex do the same thing, but it's just, you know, kind of a different dynamic with Crash. And uh, very, very enjoyable. Again, to me, I see elements... Oh, and I love this platforming part. There's actually very good-looking platforming in this. Uh, and you know me, if I was playing the game right now, we would try to walk off a ledge and see what was there. That's our second pizza pizza. <laughs> so, uh, I think there's a third one up there. I'm not sure. But again, does this level not scream double trouble? I think it does. I uh, cannot wait to play him here. But the graphics and the way it looks for someone like me that's never played a Crash game, uh, I get a little bit of Sonic from it, a little bit of Legend of Zelda in bits and places. But the game that really comes to mind for me, again, you kind of know my lineage there, uh, Atari, NES, Genesis, PS2, it's actually uh, Tasmania. And uh, there were several, I don't know what this is. I don't know if this is a glitch, if it's a superpower. Uh, 
but he just seemingly gets to preview the entire area. <laughs> and when Crash did this, that was not a thing. But uh, again, I found that interesting. The crabs do remind me of kind of like Donkey Kong Country. But again, if you played Tasmania on the uh, Sega Genesis, I think it was on the NES, SNES, I should say. Uh, there were some like jungle levels, and they sort of had this feel to them, at least in my opinion. That, that game probably predates most of you. Not Taz and Escape from Mars, but the first one. I miss those games, man. Uh, something I was thinking about, you know, like we basically had a uh, guest star every year, and you'd think it would be Microsoft's turn next year. And so I was like, what are they gonna do? Like Halo? Did they reach back and get like a Battlefield? I was thinking, what is a cool, unexpected guest star? And what I came up with was actually Taz. I think he would actually make a pretty cool Skylander. Uh, Marvin the Martian as well, speaking of Taz and Escape from Mars. But, uh, yeah, a lot of people post the gameplay. I was always told you're, like, either supposed to edit it and talk over it or something, so, you know. Uh, this is what you get with me. Did you see the guy with the beatbox over there? Since we're going old school here, let me drop another game for you. That reminds me of Toe Jam and Earl Panic on Funkatron. Another fantastic game from, like, Genesis days. Uh, yeah. Like, like I said, you know, I, I, I've got a good, good memory, right? But see that little drop right there? I don't think it would kill you, and I wonder if there's something hidden. And it kills me that I won't be able to know until November. So, assessing Cortex's gameplay, though, on more of like an analytical level, he looks like he's going to be a bit of a juggernaut. Uh, he's got the projectile with the gun. He's got basically the ability to be an offensive and defensive type hybrid with the mines. And then he's got speed with the hoverboard. If the hoverboard can somehow shoot a projectile or have a dash, I will be very pleased with him, I'll tell you that right now. Uh, again, this is that, I'm trying to figure out, is it a hula skirt maybe? Maybe that's what it is on the chompy. <laughs> I don't know man, but there was a ton of gameplay from this. And again, what I want to stress to you, and I wonder what those hieroglyphics you know, like really mean. Uh, anyway, what I want to stress to you here is the reason I'm doing this is this isn't like the Wyndham level. It's not, you know, like the default other two we've seen. Every bit of this gameplay is specifically from the Thumpin' Woompa Islands Adventure Pack. So, uh, PS3 and 4 people, you'll pick this up. Oh no, my computer's going to sleep. Uh, black screen, sorry, not sure what we missed, but I think it was the dash and a backpack. But, uh... Oh, there's Mags. So she's here, too. That's interesting. I don't think I'd ever seen her before. Like I said, every time I watch this, I pick up on something else. But, uh, again, there's our little Tiki guy. Uh, Royal Double Trouble is going to look amazing here as well. So, uh, On that note, something I've wanted to talk about for a while. For those of you that play a um, Battlecast on an iPad, when you had to update to get Battlecast, assuming you hadn't already, did you lose the ability to play Skylanders Battlegrounds? Check this out. This See how that purple thing that dealt XP to Crash that I told you was so cool? And I said you'll see Cortex go through and it won't be there. So, okay, now this is cool. This is like the classic boulder chase that I guess happened all the time. And I figured... Let me see here, I'll tell you. I thought it would be short, right? You know, there's, I've done a couple of these in my lifetime, particularly for Mario games. But, uh, like, right, there's a checkpoint, I guess is what it turned. Right there, I thought, okay, we're done. And I was like, well, that's strange, he gets to keep the fire deal. And then I realized it's still going. So, these things in the crash zones must be fairly lengthy. And uh, they said there were crash zones, not a crash zone. You think it's over again? Wrong. It's just like stage three of it. But uh, I'm interested to see if they're all similar or what. And again, that was just a checkpoint. It's still going. Uh, so, it'll be interesting to see if they're showing us this. I'm curious to see what they're not showing us. But uh, that said, once again, I can't stress this enough, I've never played Trash Bandicoot, I had no knowledge of Dr. Neo Cortex prior to any of this, and watching this gameplay has got me amped up to actually play it. I'm not going to go buy a PS3 or 4, I'm going to stick to my Wii U and Xbox One, 
but it was enough that I've seen that I'm like, I really want to experience that. And uh, so obviously for those of you that grew up with the game or were big fans of it when you played it, uh, I can imagine your sense of excitement probably mirrors that. that well, probably not. Uh, if I would have been at that E3, man, I would have been that guy when they announced Bowser and DK, you know? Uh, like, you always watch the Nintendo live streams, and there's like that, you know, group in the back, and they're like, yeah! They just start screaming out of, you know, pure joy. That would have been me. But, uh, like I said, I'm excited to experience it. So that said, let me know your thoughts on this. Are you still looking forward to it? If you're in my boat, you've never experienced Crash Bandicoot games, is this something that you just skip over to save the 30 bucks, or is this something where you're like, man, that looks really cool, I'm going to have to pick that up. And uh, then, of course, for those of you that are super hardcore into Crash, uh, I assume this, again, kind of rivals what I felt when Bowser and DK were announced. <laughs> so, truth be told, I would have loved a Koopa Troop, but I'm, I'm a big Koopa Troop guy. Uh, Hammer Bros, you know, could have evolved in that. Anyway, I won't go into that, but uh, hey, I gave you all kinds of stuff in the course of that analysis, Sega Genesis talk. <laughs> all kinds of stuff went down, so uh, let me know your thoughts on everything. Again, SkylanderClub.com, still more to come. I've saved chaos, my friends. I've got some Dark Element gameplay. I don't... We've... It's kind of stuff you've already seen. I don't know if I'll post it or not. I'm itching to play some Minecraft too, but uh, I'm excited about this, so I hope you are too. Again, let me know your thoughts. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, subscribe. Uh, I'm a grassroots channel. I never took a partnership uh, where other people did and then kind of blew up and you know cross-promoted over my videos. I just kind of stuck true to my guns here, tried to deliver my own style of content. Uh, if you enjoy it, please spread the word. That's about all I've got to get the channel to grow. And uh, like I said, we got chaos and some other stuff headed your way. So I hope you'll stay tuned, and I will catch you back here for more Skylanders Imaginators action. <laughs>